So it comes from place to a place. So here, if we take that these people break through the Radam, and then they're coming from every high place in a hurry. But if they're locked in one place, like what a lot of the scholars are saying, so then Allah Azza wa would have said in the Quran, فَهُمْ إِلَىٰ كُلِّ حَدَىٰ Then they will be running to every place in a hurry, based on their explanation. But if we look at it from a different meaning, which is فَتَحَ يَأْجُوجُ مَأْجُوجُ فُتِحَتْ يَأْجُوجُ مَأْجُوجُ Mean the land of يَأْجُوجُ مَأْجُوجُ Where Dhul Qarnayn reached thousands of years ago has been conquered, then those who conquered that land will come from every place on the face of the planet rushing in high numbers and hurrying for that great conquer that happened. So that's what I personally believe this ayah is meaning here. That when the land of Ya'juj Ma'juj, where where the Ya'juj Ma'juj lived, has been conquered, and those who conquered it comes from every place on the face of the planet, coming in a hurry, Yansilun, then knows waqtarab al wadul haq. Know that the true promise of Allah Azza wa Jal is near. فَإِذَا هِيَ شَاخِصَةٌ أَبْصَارُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا Those, the, the, the kuffar, those who disbelieve, they will say, Oh, this have happened and we're not aware of it. يَا وَيْلَنَا Woe to us. قَدْ كُنَّا فِي غَفْلَةٍ مِّنْ هَذَا We were not aware that this actually happened. بَلْ كُنَّا ظَالِمِينَ Verily, we were ظالمين. We were doing shirk and we were not worshipping Allah correctly. So, now, what I am saying here, and this is my ishtihad of explaining this ayah, is that Dhul Qarnayn reached a place on the face of the planet. And he divided the Ya'juj and Ma'juj from the good people and put that barrier. And when, in the future, when people will conquer that land, they will, once they conquer it, they're going to come to it rushing from every place, every high place, in a hurry. So where is that place? What happened in history? And let's go back to history and see what happened. And then see what Dhul Qarnayn said toward the end. So what Dhul Qarnayn says, then what Allah Azza wa says after what Dhul Qarnayn concluded. So think about it. Dhul Qarnayn went all the way up north to reach the North Pole. And he crossed the North Pole and kept going further. So in my opinion, he has reached, because again, according to what the scholars say, that he has roamed the earth. So he reached the continent of North America. And then he went through in, inside of North America to a place rich in iron between those two mountains. And he helped this tribe from that tribe. One of them is called Ya'juj and Ma'juj. The other one is the good tribe. And he put that rhythm between them. And then later, Allah Azza wa Jal says, when people discover that land, the land of Ya'juj and Ma'juj, they will come to it rushing from everywhere where on the face of the earth. It's a great discovery. It's a great play. It's a great, you know, victory to all to humanity. Look at the riches and the, all the wealth that Allah Azza wa Jal has hidden and provided to the to all the nations on the face of the planet, the the continent of North America and South America. When they discovered what happened, people from all corners of the world are rushing and competing to come to that great conquers, where the, 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 that great discovery, the discoveries of the Americas. Then Allah Azza wa Jal says, when this happened, when this place is being conquered, and people are coming to it rushing from all over the world, and the number of people is exp expanding exponentially, then Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَتَرَكْنَا بَعْضَهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِي يَمُوجُ بِبَعْضٍ On that day, the nations start to intermingle together. These nations come to these nations and these people to these people and mankind are intermingling together. And after that, Allah Azza wa Jal says, and the trumpet has been blown, فَجَمَعْنَاهُمْ جَمْعًا Know that the order of Allah Azza wa Jal is near. And then Allah will gather all humanity together. Then Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَعَرَضْنَا جَهَنَّمَ يَوْمَ إِذِ لِلْكَافِرِينَ عرضا. On that day, we had presented hellfire to those who disbelieve in Allah Azza wa Jal. So what I am saying to summarize is that Dhul Qarnayn did conquer the earth. He reached the continents of the Americas. He's the first, the first person mentioned in the Quran, or the first righteous man and possibly a prophet that, has, that is mentioned in the Quran that reached the continents of America. 
Where in America, Allah, God, only God knows. But he reached that place. He reached a place where there's, you know, I'm, I'm going to say an Indian tribe that attacks another Indian tribe. One of them is called Gogs and Magogs, attacks the other tribe, and then he protected one from the other. And then he made a dua, a call to Allah Azza wa Jal. And then when that continent has been discovered and people are coming to it in great numbers, rushing for that discovery, know that the promise of Allah is near. Then Allah Azza wa Jal further, he's, you know, uh, and then the Prophet Sallallahu says that these people who will conquer do, do Fatah, Ya'juj, Ma'juj are mainly from the descendant of Prophet Nuh salam, from his son, his son Yafith, the one that the generation of Europe came from. So that's another you know, great miracle from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the people who truly first conquered it and came from great numbers came where, where the Europeans and that what happens here in North America people from all different aspects or other lands came later much later but who came and conquered this land were mainly people from North from Europe the European people and, and that, that again so they came and conquered this land and now there's a war going on the people from the United States or from North America are do khuruj to go fight the Muslims and that's what you see today that what they call war on terrorism is war on Islam it's very clear it's predicted by Allah Azza wa Jal they came out to fight the, the Muslim nations so this is my story this is what I would like to uh, give you a presentation on what I believe through my ishtihad a lot of different people say no 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 it's the Surah Sin which is the Great Wall of China First of all, Great Wall of China is not a radm and doesn't, is not strong enough to protect people from the other and anybody can, can break through it. Some people say it's this place and that place without any evidence and these are very, very high level, highly regarded scholars. But if you go back and you read through the Quran, read through the tafsir and, and, and try to comprehend what I just said, you will come to the same conclusion that subhanAllah, Allah has predicted the fatah the conquer of America, of the Americas, that this is a nation filled with wealth. Instead, we should use it and we should use this wealth to be generous to the rest of the world. And instead, what we're doing today, we're fighting the rest of the world. So the message, the purpose for this entire message here is to let you know, to understand that this, what we have in America and North America and South America and all the wealth that we have in here is provisions that was preserved to us by God Almighty not only for us but for us to share with the rest of the world what is happening in North America today in the United States alone the United States alone has 4% of world population and yet we consume 27% of the world resources we're basically eating the world resources right and left and we're wasting it and we're not being trustworthy with the trust that God has given us here. Instead, we're conquering and we want more and we want more and we go conquer nations and we harm nations in the name of freedom and democracy. Rather than being a great nation and see where people are in need and help those who are in need, instead we're fighting the world and we're fighting Islam. 